Hello everyone, today I would like to talk with you about fear of rejection and what you can do to work your way through it if it's something that is popping up in your experience and bugging you in any way. You see, first of all I believe that fear of rejection is a completely natural thing and it's not something to be fixed. You know, it's, it's, it's actually, I believe, a core component of our ability to bring a sense of connection and belonging in our relationships with other people and it's a, a force that is actually um, having us look at, you know, how can I be more pleasing, more kind, more perceptive to this other person that is around me. So in mild quantities, it's, it's actually a very nice thing. Um, however, it can also become too much and get in the way of our authentic ex expression. And that's when I believe it's good to address it. Um, I'm going to give you an example of um, a customer of mine who recently came to me with this story that I resonated with so much, which was like, I would have this experience that um, I would feel really good, I would have this really good energy flowing through me, like doing my work or having my own time, and then I would bump into somebody and I would see that they're in a completely different space right now, and I would not only just bring myself down automatically to be able to connect with them but I would also feel inhibited I would feel like oh but like I can I have to contract I cannot show myself here because like this person is on a completely different space and and basically what my my client said that happened with him was that um, there would be this anxiety and a lot of fear and, and, and worry rising in him around that experience. And so we, we looked at what is underneath that anxiety. And what he found was two things. So first of all, it was a feeling of being disconnected because this other person is not on the same wavelength as he was. And the second one is fear of rejection, fear that if I show myself fully in front of this person, he will reject me because he does not seem to be relating to what I'm going through. And so we basically looked at this and then we said, okay, so what is it that you actually want in this situation? And it was clear to see, it was the reverse of those two. So first of all, he wanted connection. And second of all, he wanted acceptance, right? So these are the opposites of disconnection and rejection. So then we looked at, okay, so, you know, first of all, let's look at the first. What does connection mean for you? What is your definition of connection? And it turned out that in his definition of connection, this kind of experience where you would be with another person and you would be having different energies is basically his definition of being disconnected. And as he was expressing that, he realized that he does not necessarily need to have that um, definition that way, that it can be in another way. It can be that, oh, like any energy is welcome in our interaction with another person. I, I give to myself this feeling of being connected all the time. It's always there for me because I'm present and engaged with myself, with this other person. And then there can be many different energies rising up in that connection, but the connection is always there at the base of it. And so he rewrote his definition of connection. And then there is acceptance. And for acceptance, you have to recognize that this person that you just met did not say anything, did not do anything to make you believe that they will not accept you. And what does it actually mean that they will not accept you? You know, it's, it's, it's actually what's happening is that they're reflecting back to you your own unwillingness to accept yourself in this energy and accept yourself expressing a good energy in front of other people and that's a completely different story it has nothing to do with them 
and it has everything to do with you and what kind of energies you welcome within yourself. And so what we did with my client was, was we just made a mantra. We made a mantra that states, um, as I accept myself, I see that reflected in my relationships with others. So if that experience is something that resonates with you, you can actually take that mantra and repeat it. Like just have that daily ritual of just repeating that mantra, just saying it to yourself and then changing your body posture, like seeing how does it make you feel if you fully accept whatever energy is rising within you right now. And then little by little, as you do that for around a month, usually, that will start also showing up in your relationships with others and you will feel much more at ease expressing yourself. So that's it for today. Fear of rejection, you can look at what's your definition of connection and you can have your self-acceptance mantra. And I promise you that things are going to start looking much better for you in the next weeks. Hope you enjoyed this, guys, and hope you have an amazing week. Take care.